All right, so good morning, everybody. Welcome to Hussein Foros again. Today I'm in Paris, uh, shooting Le Marais, which is um, the center of Paris. It's not exactly the center, but it's just close to the center. Today, this place is amazing because of this, you know, this unique church here. And also this place has a lot of hidden gems, you know, um, beauties everywhere, like a lot of cool streets and like uh, some lovely angles as well. Um, you know, just because I start from here, I think I should start with shooting in this building. So if you're new here in this channel, consider subscribing. So to begin with, I think we're going to use the street lines always. I'm going to try to shoot at a 4.5 or 5.6, something like that. Shadow speed, if it's close to 80 or 70, something like that, it's uh, perfectly fine. So let me do this, focusing on the church, of course. Uh, I'm gonna have to have the full Pompey, the letters. Let me see if I can have it. Yes, that's perfect. The street mark Pompey Softy, which is, you know, the fire service exit. So I'm gonna have to have it on my frame. Let me frame that perfectly. Let me focus on the church. Everything is fine. Yeah, beautiful. So let's move on. This is a nice photo to start with. The Pompey Sochi, you know, it's a it's a beautiful uh, cool architecture. Let me see if I can have another one like this. Which is not bad at it. So let me try. Yeah, the bells are ringing now. So, so again half a 5.600 shutter speed. I is a 200. Perfect. I'll try to do something which is going to be really, really cool. If I can have this lady there in the middle of the street, let me see if she, she crosses the road. Otherwise, don't bother, you know, just. Right, I need to have her in the middle of the street, which is perfect. So three beautiful pictures already, which is really good. And all the streets here, it's kind of, um, it's not like the other part of Paris, like you know, the modern things and all the stuffs. Even though all Paris, everywhere, um, the building and the architecture is kind of slightly different than the other countries, which makes it so, um, so particularly more interesting, you know? There's some water there on the, uh, even though it's dirty, let me try if we can, if we can have it. Um, it does not work that perfectly, but let me try. No, it's not good. Let me go again. Just, you know what I did? I just put my camera exactly on the street. If it works, it's gonna be surprising, but I don't think it's gonna work. I wanna have a look on my computer when I go back home. Let's move forward, let's move forward. Boy, well, just in case, if you want to know where I'm going, let me tell you, it's my pleasure to announce you. I don't know where should I go. It's my pleasure. But I think if I go to this direction, there's something like, you know, there's a, there's a cool park. There are some people running. And I think... Um, let, me go, let me go straight and then... And then we'll see. If you, if you know me for a while now, I like these street lamps, for example. You know, um, I'm not sure it's gonna work in this image, but... You know, there's nothing... I'm not gonna lose anything if I try. Let's perfectly frame this one and well if you if you're coming from another city to to take photos of Paris I would highly recommend you to come uh, and target your best place that you want to shoot it has to be the Sunday morning otherwise 
um, it's gonna be really hard for you to get the perfect shots unless you like people people or your photos because this is a pity uh, this is a city that there's a lot of people live here and um, it's gonna be so hard for you to find something like an empty street if you come even after nine nine o'clock um, Sunday morning or maybe ten o'clock Sunday morning it's not gonna work so what you have to do instead you have to come early otherwise you're not gonna make it like you know very early in the morning just right just right on sunrise or maybe just half an hour before sunrise there was nobody there on the street the park that I was talking about a little bit early I think this is this way straight ahead and I have no idea if I want to shoot any pictures from here but let me go to that park again and then I'll turn right again so I'm gonna circle around this area for some reason I don't uh, I like the shape of these buildings let me use the street lines we go full wide Yeah, not bad. This is a nice little park, you know, inside of Paris, in Le Marais. I'm not sure if I want to shoot anything like here, but you know, that makes me thinking. Let me see if I can do a black and white, maybe. No, why not? A simple composition with a black and white thinking in my head uh, 6.3 f5.6 is enough just a tourist type of photos you know no technical thing one of the most important part of this part is that it looks lovely cool trees they you know they, they cut this you know the same size every time uh, let me see if I have anything like these trees, you know, they're 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 beautiful, those formations. Perfect. What I can do is instead use this street lamp. Let me see. Yeah. And obviously focusing on the street lamp. Black and white, yeah. Well if you're coming here. You see the toilet, public toilet, which is not something you can find in Paris so easily. So be careful, you know, if you're here in this area, just <laughs> keep in mind that there's something, you know, to be relaxed on. Ah, oh, no, jokes, jokes apart. Something that I always try, which is go down. That gives you a better idea of what the viewer is looking on, on your photo. Obviously 5.6, 200 ISO, 250 shutter speed. Yeah, it's nice. The clouds on this image. Extraordinary. All right. Uh, let me go a little bit closer to this fountain because I think it's going to be amazing if I try another composition like this. Uh, yeah, beautiful. You know, I, I really like this sky. It's not sunny, it's not something, you know, um, interesting. But when, when you shoot black and white, this type of skies really help. Yeah, really help. Well, now to the, to the other side. This is the reason why you should always look back when you are walking with the camera. Not always in front of you will be the best results, but sometimes be behind you can be really interesting you know these two trees here in this frame this tree the formation of this trees is really really beautiful uh, let me try if I can see yeah nice so anyway let me try if I can frame this perfectly 